And this is called Cottonwood Station. And Cottonwood Station technically was a lumber office and a window screening uh, area. <laughs> Gentleman by the name of uh, Ron Ruffalo uh, built the uh, built it into a train station, and we've had movies filmed out here. The cart that I'm standing in front of here right now, we figure roughly is about uh, about 99 years old. Um, we're figuring right around in there, um, and then most of the luggage and stuff on here were donated from different uh, people that came along. So we just made it look a little bit more like if it was going to be a train station. Uh, but I have pictures of the carts, so when I get ready to rebuild them, I know exactly where everything's going to go on the carts when I get ready to go. So as we walk along over here, the next cart that I'm going to show you up here, this one's about 100, uh, we know is about 101 years old. And so it stays indoors. Uh, with all the funding that we get, uh, or the donation boxes, uh, I just got the doors rebuilt. Uh, they've done a great job on them for me. And as we step inside, you're gonna see a little train running around up here in the top. A lot of this stuff was, we were out here for uh, the, uh, Lehman, our LGB, came out for their 50th uh, birthday party out here to redo Chloe in here. So they'll get, they donated most of the track and uh, myself and another gentleman by the name of Gary uh, put the rail, uh, rails up and then a lot of the engines were donated and some of my cars are up here running. So we have it here for the kids in here. So technically this is gonna be the baggage area. Uh, we also have another gentleman by the name of Frank. Uh, with your funds and donations, again, we are gonna replace this window. And so we're gonna make this an open window so we can get air through here. Um, so with all the generations of stuff going on around out here, we're gonna put it back into what it originally was, was a train station. Now, we're gonna take a quick step into this room in here. And this would be considered the, uh, the train master's office in here. Uh, and that's what I tried to get it to fix to look like. Um, over on this side here, the desk was donated to us. And the typewriter and most of this stuff is uh, out of my collection, uh, which I needed to find a home for. So technically, we've turned it into a train station. And then on this side would be, of course, your waiting room in here. And again, we were getting ready to do some more work. Uh, we had to raise the building, so once we raised the building, we started with little cracks and little bits and pieces, and we're going to uh, have that done and worked on. We are in the process of getting ready for online donations. Uh, I have a little donation box set up down inside the uh, uh, baggage area. And, and again, everything that you donate to this building stays at this building. So it helps me, uh, uh, like I said, with the donations, we got the uh, window to be put in. The next step is to get the uh, uh, ceiling and all this, re what they call remud. And then I also got enough uh, donation to uh, start painting the outside. And there's always constant work to be done around on this building. So uh, it's a labor of love more than anything else because we want folks to come out and actually see what a railroad uh, uh, depot would have looked like. Um, probably between the, the, the late 50s and early 60s.